This video will discuss the arthroscopic treatment of synovial chondromatosis of the knee. So what is synovial chondromatosis? It is a proliferative disease of the synovium that's associated with cartilage metaplasia, which ends up resulting in multiple intraarticular loose bodies. So what is the synovium of the knee? Here on this diagram of the knee, you see the knee looking at it from the side view or the lateral view on cross-section. You see multiple structures in the knee, including the cartilage and the meniscus, which is light blue. But here denoted by the red arrows is the synovium, which is the lining of the knee, which helps to produce the synovial fluid or the joint lubricating fluid. Synovial chondromatosis usually occurs in patients between the ages of 30 and 50. It results in joint pain, stiffness, and swelling, and occurs more commonly in males than females, and the knee is the most common location. So let's center this topic around a case. This is an 18-year-old male with an over one-year history of knee pain and swelling. He began noticing catching and popping in the knee and tried anti-inflammatory medications, some structured physical therapy, and modification of his activities with continued pain. On examination, he had a 2-plus effusion. His range of motion was slightly limited with 130 degrees of flexion, and he had diffuse tenderness to palpation around his knee. However, there was no specific joint line tenderness at the meniscus or the cartilage. A review of the patient's MRI demonstrates multiple loose bodies in the knee, which is depicted by the red arrow. This patient underwent a knee arthroscopy, and upon introduction of the arthroscope into the knee, you can see multiple loose bodies in the knee, which are predominantly composed of cartilage. An arthroscopic grasper is utilized in order to remove these loose bodies, and then an arthroscopic shaver is also introduced into the knee, which can assist with removing of these arthroscopic debris. You're looking at the medial compartment of the knee, the medial femoral condyle, medial tibial plateau, as well as the medial meniscus. Here now the arthroscope is introduced into the suprapatellar pouch and you can again see the multiple cartilage loose bodies in the knee. Here's the medial gutter, again multiple loose bodies composed of cartilage, arthroscopic shaver being utilized in order to remove all of these cartilage debris. It's really important in this surgery that we assess the entire compartments of the knee, the suprapatellar pouch, the medial gutter, here we're now in the lateral gutter, and again, you can see a hardened loose body. With synovial chondromatosis, the loose bodies come in various different stages. Some of them can be hard in nature. Some are more soft cartilaginous lesions. Here we're now in the lateral compartment of the knee. And again, the arthroscopic shaver is utilized in order to remove all these loose bodies. The goals of surgical treatment for synovial chondromatosis is not only to remove the loose bodies in the knee, but also to perform an aggressive synovectomy. The synovectomy essentially means removing the synovial tissue throughout all of the compartments of the knee, and this is done with an arthroscopic shaver. So here we're removing the synovium from the anterior aspect of the knee, both medially and laterally. And by removing the synovium, the goal is to remove this disease process that causes these loose bodies. Here we're in the posterior lateral aspect of the knee, and again the arthroscopic shaver is being utilized in order to perform this synovectomy and remove all of the synovial tissue and the synovial lining that otherwise produces these cartilaginous loose bodies. Here's the posterior or back portion of the femoral condyle on the left. And again, we're being very aggressive by using the shaver as well as this arthrocare device in order to ablate and remove the synovial tissue. Here's the intercondylar notch. You're looking at the synovial tissue that overlies the posterior cruciate ligament. And again, we're using the arthrocare wand in order to ablate and really destroy the synovium to ensure that we perform an aggressive synovectomy to help to prevent this disease process from continuing in the future. Finally, the posteromedial aspect of the knee is again visualized and we're using an arthroscopic shaver. Here we can see more cartilaginous loose bodies. Again, a hardened piece of synovial chondromatosis loose body that's removed with the grasper. And again, the arthroscopic arthrocare wand is used in order to ablate the synovial tissue. Finally, we go back to the anterior aspect of the knee behind the patellar tendon in the fat pad, and we're using the arthrocare wand to not only remove the synovial tissue, but also to coagulate any of the bleeding vessels that may cause a bloody effusion after the surgery. 
And then finally we address the medial and lateral gutters. So here is the lateral gutter, and again we're using the arthroscopic shaver to remove the synovial lining. The tissue that remains on the inner and outer aspects of the knee is the retinacular tissue which you can see in this arthroscopic video. The Arthrocare wand is again used to not only remove the synovial tissue but also to ablate any of the bleeding vessels. Once this is performed in the lateral gutter of the knee, we then advance to the medial gutter and perform the same arthroscopic synovectomy. And finally, the last compartment of the knee is the suprapatellar pouch. We perform an aggressive synovectomy of this region. This is the area that is above the patella or above the kneecap. And again, there's abundant synovial tissue that requires resection. This area has a significant number of bleeding vessels once the synovium is resected. So again, the Arthrocare wand is meticulously used in order to assist with coagulation of any of the bleeding vessels. And once this is complete, this completes the entire synovectomy of the knee.